Uh, what is up, guys? We are back with the Spice Master, Spice Bay, uh, Jonathan Rodriguez with Kaido this time. But started at Kaido, but a but a very very special twist. Uh, take it away. Uh, yeah, I'm playing. Um, I like to call it Burn Kaido because my top end is to burn my opponents. Um, I'm not playing any of the 10 drops, any of the 9 drops, any of those cards that are like good on the deck, sure, but my deck uh, was trying to do something different because I wanted to explore the, the power of this card, the 8 drop uh, Kaido. So um, the reason uh, I wanted to explore this one is because it makes a lot of sense with the leader. What it does is for uh, at the end of the turn, you get to um, play uh, play one of your dawn that is um, in your dawn deck untapped. So what you what why is good with the leader? Why he overperforms with him is because you can at any point in the game you can just burn your your life, and at the end of the turn you can get to uh, have one or if you have two of them out, um, uh, you get to untap two energy at the end of the turn basically. So it's a really powerful effect. Also, he's a nine k. That is a really powerful stat line. Uh, for a mana, it just it, he will be uh, removing whatever is on the board. He will be uh, taking damage uh, uh, out of life because 9k is a better, better real number, and um, it's really. I mean, it, this card was really, really good, and I wanted to see how good it was in this leader. And I think actually this is a, a different way to play Kaido, and it's actually really good. Uh, out of the matches that I play. Uh, it feels really good against red, um, better than the other one, because uh, in this deck I don't have that many non cobble cards um, that are bad in the matchup, and it's just um, I played three red decks and all of them I beat them handily. It wasn't even that hard. Uh, I played against a blue deck. It was also good because of this card. Uh, it's just way too powerful trying to burn them. I don't even have to attack them, but I, I would just also attack them because at some point they also have to defend their life. And I play against uh, Green Kid. I mean, not Kid, but uh, Odin uh, as my last match. Um, Green is probably the toughest matchup, but it's still really, really good. It does. It's not that bad. I don't attack them. I try to burn them for life so that so that I can kill the A drop easier. And I have some cards that can kill the A drop, which is the the biggest problem of the deck. Um, so that was the the whole. Everything is based around this card, the whole deck. So. How do you get there? You play on each, um, on each, <laughs> the field spell. <laughs> uh, this one, I want to get to my A drop as soon as possible. And also, I want to burn back to back. I want to do burn, next turn, attach a couple of mana, burn you again. So it was really good for that reason. Um, and yeah, I mean, all your plays that do minus one and you tinker with your energy so even if you're not minus four in like one single a car, a car you still get to use this, this effect every turn because your leader can do that every turn that's why uh, I'm also playing uh, two I mean four and four of the uh, blockers uh, I just like to have the defense at the end of the game and uh, this one once you have uh, basically you get to play the a drop and um, at some point during the game play a blocker and burn and have two mana on top if you have two of them out and you have defense and you have a blocker so it, it just fits the curve very well uh, that's what I like it and you want to have some more defense against red decks early on uh, I'm playing for the queen because this card is just way too good gets rid of the deck cards in your hand and give you new new ones uh, I'm playing for this one because it works with what I'm trying to do is not give you many cards I'm trying to burn you and this one gives you even less cards and it's a 2k counter for the most part. Then I'm gonna save this one. I'm playing Jack for the same reason. I'm trying to burn you and trying to create your life basically. And uh, not giving you too many cards. This card it feels really good with the leader. And uh, uh, it's a good card that you can play on three also if you don't see your field spell. That's another thing about this deck. You don't have to see the field spell on three. I mean on turn two. As long as you see it through the game, like in the first two or three turns, it's fine. Uh, you can still do your game plan, which is burn them a couple of times. And uh, yeah, that, uh, that's another reason why you can have a, a good matchup against Red, because you can play these cards and don't feel that bad about it. Uh, then I'm playing four of the uh, Thunder Bagua. When I burn, I only have two mana untapped. I'm being able to do 4k ramp again. 
so I can do more burning during the game. It's really good. I really like that at four, and I wouldn't change it. This this is really good defense. And every time I bluff, even if I don't have it, if I bluff this car, they're gonna play different around it. So it's just really good for that reason. Um, for this one, because again, it's a 4K Connor, so I have a lot of combo power late game. And it works with the Dragon really well, because you play it on eight, and you have one mana on top immediately, so you can get out of any attack. And late game is just really good. I'm um, playing three of this one. This car was really good against the red decks. Uh, this is the only removal that I'm playing in the deck, uh, but it works really, really well with the um, with the a drop too. Again, because you get to minus two two cars, and if you have already, if you don't want to burn that turn, and you already have like one or two dragons out, this one is just gonna replenish two cars already without having to burn uh, your all your energy away. I'm playing uh, this one. Uh, that's a 5-7 stat line. Uh, it was really good during the tournament, especially against red. Um, but just being able to... I'm, I'm trying to generate a board presence, burn them uh, uh, one or twice, and then being able to have a board to just attack for game. And 7k is a really good name. That, that Once they, they are burned, even if they are a fat life, if you have one or two of uh, 7ks or, or 9ks or whatever you have on board, um, if you burn them twice, they have to get out of these 7k attacks. Um, so that's why he's really good into it. Like, just to play it on the board and contest the board. Not gonna be easy to kill for them to kill him because 7k is really hard to kill. Only with like actual effects uh, they can kill it, but I mean, not many decks have that effect. Um, uh, for this one, because it's a 2k counter, and if you don't see the, uh, the field spell or you just wanna ramp early game, uh, you can play him and he's decent. Then, uh, two of the uh, this guy, uh, he's good in, in late game. Um, just a six mana um, draw a card if you have eight or more, which you usually do. And also, you can play it on turn five as a five six stat line, and it was also decent for that reason. So, it's 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 a good card. I don't have complaints about that one. And I'm playing two of the uh, queen because you need answers for the a drop. That card is the boogeyman of the format. And uh, being able to have a board, play this, play this guy, minus two, make it minus 2k, uh, he's gonna die that turn. It's, uh, it's gonna be really hard to defend if you already have a board established. And then you can continue with your game plan. Uh, it was really good. And that's it, that's the deck. I'm not playing any of the uh, heavy top end cards, just the dragon, uh, but it worked really well. I wouldn't say that it's a good deck if it's not if I don't think it was. I think this is just another way to play Kaido. And it's really good. I would advise you to try it. And that's it.